Well, when I was growing up surfing, I had one surf movie, which was Five Summer Stories, and it was because my dad was kind of an old school dude, and he just thought like that was the shit for surfing. So I started doing NSSAs, having only seen guys like doing Cheater Fives and getting head dips and stuff. So like what I thought ripping was, was what I saw at the beaches around here, like the best guys surfing swamis or something like that. I would watch them and be like, oh my gosh, that's like the craziest shit in the world. And then I saw Loose Change for the first time, and I saw Bruce Irons' part and was just freaking floored. Like, I didn't know up from down after that. I was like, guys are doing freaking 20 foot airs. And so that really changed things for me big time. There was never a time when I was like, I'm done with competing. I was never good enough at it to really like throw in the towel. And it wasn't a statement that I made, it was just kind of like I wasn't doing contests anymore because I wanted to go ride a longboard at Cardiff sort of thing. I didn't really have the support to travel a ton so I was pretty much at home and I just saw my other friends having so much fun riding longboards and stuff that I just kind of got into it like that and it was really longboards that made me want to start making my own stuff. I got into riding foam finless ones just because they were easier to catch waves on and that was kind of like the height of me loving where I live and being really entertained with just riding. Completely out there different stuff was when I was riding a foam block that was pretty much like a four foot six square chunk of foam and that was when I really got to the point where I was sponsored for surfing a shortboard and then I'm riding like a piece of trash out in the water and I remember my mom kind of being like now don't ride that all the time because you're gonna get dropped from your sponsors she just was like why the hell do you keep taking this freaking pool toy to the beach and I was riding it when the waves were really good too just like it was so exciting for me and that sort of like experimentation was in the end kind of what kept me as interest to Volcom. You know, getting everything inside me out when it came to just shaping a board with a tool. My riding was able to be creative and I walked down the beach with something that I had created myself and I had a lot of, lot of pride in that. Traveling, I, I was instantly completely out of control and <laughs> like just so lost because I could ride anything at home because I was used to the speed of the wave. I went to Hawaii and pretty much just like fell on every wave and was just like, what the fuck am I trying to ride these things for? Because there's just so many different bumps and lumps that having a straight rail or having a big fin on that side of your board makes the board just grab on every little change of the water. Whereas in Indonesia, that's awesome because you can take off and get right under the hook of the lip and just sit there and pump the board and the board's just stuck in the face of the wave. But in Hawaii, when you're trying to fall down the face of like a wave at pipe or something that's got warbles and bumps to it, the thing grabs on them and then projects off it and then grabs on the next bit and you get to the bottom and you bury the whole freaking rail in the water and then you hit a chop and the chop hits your foot and that takes you off your board. It's like. I was just doing cartwheels all the time over there. That was the first time I was ever really like listening to my own needs and trying to make something to make up for what I didn't do well. And just trying to make the board that was best suited for me without any boundaries. It was questioning everything. And I was, you know, from where you start to tuck the rail to rockers and everything, I was just trying to manipulate everything to be perfectly suited to the way that I was surfing and you know if I was riding one and the bottom turn wasn't tight enough I would pull in the nose on the next one on the toe side but if the heel side felt fine I would leave it the way it was so I was able to just kind of adjust it to how staggered and how asymmetrical our body you know body movements are when we're riding a wave and I was that was my real breakthrough in designing boards I guess or really using what I knew about board design to make something that was best suited for the way that I served. <laughs>